Hello everybody and welcome to this BK Academy video looking at shot routine in the game of Golf Clash. Firstly, if you are new to the channel, a very warm welcome. Please do hit thumbs up on the video, make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell button so you get notifications when we upload new videos or when we go live. Don't forget also to check out the other Academy tutorials in the Academy playlist on the channel. So in this video we're going to talk about shot routine and this is particularly good for tournament play but will help you in general tour play as well. And I'm going to break down five tips here that we can use to increase our consistency. Tip number one, pre-select clubs and ball. Now this is most likely going to be tournaments only but you may want to have a think about it with tour play as well, especially if you're going between two tours. Make sure you have the clubs ready and the bag selected that you will want to be using for the next hole that you are playing. As I said, this is very, very good for tournaments mainly. Preset your wind app. Again, this is mainly for tournaments. If you know you've got to use a power three ball and you've pre-selected it, put power three in the app. If you know the drive is 20% extra, select 20% on the app so that you are good to go and all you then need to do is type in the wind value. Number three, set up the shot. Now this is done usually one of two ways. You're either finding your landing position first or you're applying spins first. For example if you know you're looking for a rough bump you're going to work it with five bars of top spin and three bars of right spin apply your spins first, move your target, and get your ball guide to the hole, for example. However, if you have a good landing spot, you might want to set that first, as in you know if you've got a good drive, you're setting up your next shot with the red ring touching the fringe, and then, for instance, you're applying spins to pin, so your ball guide's going to the hole. You then have to, obviously, adapt, so you're either setting your spin first or finding your landing position first. Obviously, once that's done, you then adjust your rings. You've already preset your Clash Caddy or your notebook. You've typed in the wind value. So all you're going to do is adjust your rings. Then you're ready to take your shot. And this is the bit I really want to focus in now. Five, take shot. Sounds so simple, but presuming you've done the first four parts correctly, this is make or break here. And there's actually more to it than you think. I'd love to show you an example of shot routine and getting settled on a shot on the real golf course. Unfortunately, I'm terrible at real golf. However, I'm okay on the pool table. So I'm going to give you a couple of examples now of my shot routine and how we should be doing exactly the same for Golf Clash. Every time I take a shot, I've been taught to do the same number of feathers with the cue. That's the motion of the cue tip going backwards and forwards towards the cue ball. For me, I find that three feathers and a pause works really well. One, two, three, pause, go. When I'm down on the shot, I've already decided how hard I'm gonna hit the cue ball, where I'm striking the cue ball as well, with regard to what spins I'm using. Here's another shot playing a stun shot here. Again, I'm addressing where I'm gonna strike the cue ball. Three, feathers, pause, and go. And finally, I'm playing a shot with backspin here. I'm gonna draw the ball, addressing low. One, two, three, pause, go. Every single time, that's the method I use. So, okay, how do we adapt that into Golf Clash? The question that you need to ask is left or right? Do you prefer to release the shot when the needle's traveling from the left or from the right into the bullseye? You will each have your preferred option. For me, it's the left. If you're not quite sure which you're most comfortable with, go into friendly mode or a low tour, play 10 shots going from left into the center, and then 10 shots going from the right into the center when you release. You'll find out which you prefer. Once you've done that, you'll also work out how many swings of the needle you feel most comfortable seeing before you actually release the shot. For me, let's just look at the video again, I go the second time that needle approaches from the left into the bullseye. 
you should, once you've established a nice routine for you, aim always to replicate that number of needle swings and the direction from which it's coming before you release your shot. It is going to be different for every single person and also this obviously is going to differ if you're playing a shot with overpower or curl, you may want to take longer. I'm really looking at standard shots here. Finally, I want to talk to you about a thing that I'm calling final details when you're actually on the shot and this relates to overpower or curl. How many times have you seen this in tournament play or tour play and how many of you are actually guilty of doing this? I know I have done this several times. Are we going with some overpower or maybe a bit of curl? Maybe a bit less curl, maybe a bit more or maybe a bit more overpower. I can't quite decide how much or how much curl and I've hit great. That's happened to me an awful lot. So before you hit that take shot button, if you are using overpower or you are using curl, just like those pool shots, I decided on the spin and the strength of the shot before I even went down and addressed the cue ball. Same should be done in Golf Clash. Decide on your overpower if you need any. If you know you have to do half a ball of curl, go with that. These are important details and if you are still moving the ball around the adjustment ring, trying to get it right or decide what you're doing on the shot, this is going to take your concentration away from hitting perfect, but it's also going to ruin your timing. Thank you for watching this Academy video. I hope you found it useful and don't forget to share it with your friends and your clanmates in the game of Golf Clash and good luck in your Golf Clash games. Bye for now.